After episode 7 of 1923, the suspense is higher than ever as we await what should be a crazy season finale. One of the biggest questions we have going into the finale surrounds the encounter we saw at the end of episode 7. In this video, we are going to explore whether Spencer should be concerned about seeing Alexandra's ex-fiancé, and whether or not her ex might have some allies that the two should be worried about. We'll be examining three key takeaways from the latest episode to make a big prediction about the finale. Let's jump in, starting with our first takeaway. Number 1. Spencer and Alex arrive in Sicily. After weeks of traveling at this point, and the terrifying experience of almost drowning on an overturned boat at sea, Spencer and Alex finally reach land. However, they still have a long way to go. In episode 6, the captain mentioned that the boat was headed to Marseille, but we see Spencer and Alex get off the boat in Sicily, and get taken to land in a smaller boat. So we aren't quite sure why our pair got off here, but we learn quickly that it won't be a lull in the story. As Spencer and Alex get off the boat, the sailor warns Spencer about carrying his gun around Sicily, as he tells them that the Mafia won't take kindly to that. We don't think that writer Taylor Sheridan would throw in that line unless it had some significance to something that's going to happen later on down the road. So we think that there will be some involvement with the Mafia to come. We aren't sure exactly what's going to happen. But, the end of the episode is what really left us with the biggest question. As Spencer and Alex finally have the chance to sit down and enjoy a real meal, they lock eyes with the traveling group from back in Nairobi, with her former fiancé standing right in front. We certainly don't think that the group is going to just see the two and continue to walk on forward. The real question though is, if there is more going on than we think. This brings us to our next takeaway. Number 2, An Unlikely Coincidence There is a chance that this encounter with Alex's former fiancé was just a coincidence, but we don't think so. How could they have possibly found Spencer and Alex in Sicily without having some sort of inside information? After all, the encounter seemed far too strange to be a coincidence. We think that the group knew something that Spencer and Alex did not. The last time that we saw Alex's ex-fiancé and the group was back in Africa, when Alex was running away from the train and jumped into Spencer's car on the way to Tanganyika. We wouldn't be surprised if he has been plotting revenge this whole time since Alex left. How could we forget the nasty look that he gave Spencer back at the hotel bar? When Alex jumped into the car with Spencer, her ex-fiancé looked even more shocked, as she yelled back to him, find someone who loves you. However, Alex pulled this stunt not just in front of her fiancé at the time, but the entire family. Not only that, she walked out on an engagement party that had a ton of money put into it and a ton of guests. Therefore, we're sure that there were plenty of hard feelings about it. So we think that it is much less likely that it was a coincidence, and much more likely that it could have been a whole plot by any one of the family members to hunt down Spencer and Alexandra. Now the question is how and why. Bringing us to our next takeaway. Number 3, Alexandra's ex's possible connections. Based on the extravagant engagement party from episode 2, we can tell that her ex-fiancé and the family had an exorbitant amount of wealth. And based on the Banner and Whitfield plotline, we know how big of a factor money is in buying power and influence. We think that this wealth could have been used to track the couple down, either by setting up a reward for their capture, or using connections with a powerful group, like the Mafia. If a reward was set up to find Spencer and Alex, then it is possible that they could have been discovered multiple times by others. For example, back in episode 5, Spencer and Alex sent a telegram explaining their plans, then later called in from the crashing ship, so their whereabouts could have been tracked by someone being paid to hunt him. However, if the former fiancé has connections to the Mafia somehow, Spencer and Alex ending up in Sicily could have been all part of the plan. Whatever the truth is, we don't think that this encounter will be an uneventful one. Spencer himself said in the last episode that he thinks the universe doesn't want them to be together. And it seems that his concerns might be coming true. After all, there is now a full group of people that does not want them to be together, standing right in front of them. We can only wonder what will happen next, and wonder what their goal will be. It seems almost certain that the group will try to convince Alex to come back with them. But the question is if they have something worse in mind. After all, there is a very good chance that they will want to enact revenge against Spencer in some shape or form, whether that means doing it themselves, or involving the Mafia. And only time will tell what kind of power they have up their sleeve. If it is in fact the Mafia, then things could escalate pretty quickly and prevent Spencer and Alex from making it to Montana together. Now, for our fourth and final takeaway, including our prediction for the season finale. Number 4, What's Next? Altogether, we don't think that we will see Spencer arrive in Montana in the season finale, but that doesn't mean that there won't be action. It seems like there will be too much business for them to handle in Sicily for them to make it all the way to the States. So unfortunately, we think that we will have to wait for season 2 to figure out what happens when Spencer reaches Montana. Still, we think that the confrontation will be a tense one. If Alex's ex does not have Mafia connections already, then it is possible that they make 
them in order to get revenge. But on the bright side, Spencer and Alex have gotten through a lot worse already. Our prediction is that the season finale ends with Spencer and Alex ending up on the boat leaving Italy, but that they will still have a long journey ahead to get to Montana. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we think that Banner and Whitfield will have something up their sleeve and plan an offensive against the Duttons. And we hope that they will be able to hold off the attackers without Spencer. Either way, we are on the edge of our seats waiting to see how things will turn out in the next episode. The season finale releases on February 29th on Paramount Plus, and we will be here ready to break it down when it does. So there we have it, our four takeaways surrounding the potential conflict between Spencer and Alex's ex. So let us know what you think. Do you think that Alexandra's ex has mafia ties? What do you think will come of this encounter? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Before you go, make sure you subscribe so that we can bring you more updates and analysis surrounding 1923 and more of the hottest and most popular shows on television right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.